Hello, this message is going out to Jam Limited 3. Uh, my name is Joanna, and I was born, uh, I was a born again, water baptized, spirit filled Pentecostal girl. Until about seven months ago, I told my family that um, I decided to revert to Judaism. Uh, that went over really well with my Pentecostal parents, and long story short, um, I ended up, well, the day I told them, they took my um, bags and put me out on the street. Um, but at any rate, that's uh, another story. Daddy, <laughs> My daddy said he wished that I was only pregnant. Um, but at any rate, so, um, I watched your video to DJ Amet, and um, I had a couple of comments to make about it. First of all, um, about the authority given to Adam. Um, yes, I definitely agree that Adam was given uh, responsibility. He was given laws, he was given rules, and he was expected to do what God wanted. Um, and he didn't. And sadly, um, yes, the world suffers because of that. And um, I also agree that um, God's intention in creating the world was that he wanted to dwell among us. Um, as he said in Exodus 25, 8, Let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. Um, this has been the plan of God. Now, what's interesting, though, about Exodus 25, 8, is that um, that verse was given after the people of Israel had made the promise, We will do and obey all the words of the law. Exodus chapter 19, verse 8, um, and all the people answered as one, saying, All that the Lord has spoken to us, we will do. Um, so, the relationship here is that the restoration of the divine glory and the divine presence in this world comes not by rejecting the law, but by accepting it and living by it. Um, I can't understand how you can call the keeping of the divine law foolishness, because... When I say something, I kind of expect people to listen to me, and I would think that when God says something, I kind of, he would kind of expect people to listen to him. I think when he wrote, or when he gave the, the, um, the Torah, the law, he expected it to be obeyed. I don't think he expected it for it to be um, replaced or done over. Um, for me, it's like a one-time deal. He made it, and that was it. Uh, next, I'd like to say I'm glad that you agree that the Torah is not God. So what do you think about John 1, where it calls Jesus the um, Word, or the Torah? Um, just something to think about for a little while. Uh, I know that when I realized that um, John 1 was calling Jesus the Torah, it made me stop and think that maybe if I love Jesus, I should love the Torah, and that I should try thinking about keeping it. And then when I started studying what it meant to keep the law, I started realizing that um, Judaism was right. And um, it took me a long time, it took me quite a bit of study, um, but in the end, I'm, I know I made the right decision. I hope and pray that you will too. And I don't understand how you can call the Torah or the law death when the Bible itself says that it's life. Um, it says, he that doeth these things shall live by them. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 5, You shall keep my laws and my rules by the pursuit of which man shall live. I am the Lord. Um, so by calling the law death, or by saying that the law is foolishness, you're kind of saying that God is wrong. Stop and think about that for a few minutes. About your assumption that Jews don't have a relationship with God, um, I can definitely say from my own personal life that I have definitely grown closer to God than I was when I was a Christian. Um, I definitely feel that He is with me. I believe that He is my Father. Um, I definitely have a much better understanding of him now than I did as a Christian. Um, I think one of the most powerful verses in the Bible is, um, when my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will take me in. And, uh, that has definitely been true for my life. Um, so, I, I don't see how you can say that Jews are 
practicing something that is um, all rules and no relationship because I definitely feel that I have a relationship with God um, that is much greater than it was when I was a Christian. Um, there's something I think you're not quite understanding about the idea of the state of Israel or the rather the people of Israel as um, a religion. Judaism is not a religion. In an idealistic society, which um, I don't think that the current state of Israel um, is a fulfillment of this, but at any rate, in a in the correct framework, the people of Israel are to be keeping the laws of God within the land of Israel. And it's not supposed to be necessarily like it is today. The um, laws requiring a death penalty, which you're complaining about, really are supposed to be in um, the sort of kingdom environment or a um, in in the context of um, the nation. This is supposed to be something that the nation of Israel does. Um, it's not supposed to be something like well, we're not supposed to be in exile, really. We're not supposed to be spread out across the world like this. The reason we are like this is because of our many sins. God um, thrust us out of the land of Israel. Um, and may we repent and be restored to the land. But at any rate, so this idea that um, Judaism is somehow a violent religion doesn't make any sense because Judaism is not supposed to be necessarily a religion. Um, it's supposed to be the relationship of a nation to their God. And Judaism is not exclusive. I don't know why you keep calling it a club. Um, Judaism is um, open. Jews accept converts. Jews have always accepted converts. Abraham himself was a convert. Um, and he accepted converts. Uh, if you want to talk about converts he accepted, I'll tell you the stories of Timnah and Hagar end of his tent with four doors um, from which he accepted people from all co four corners of the world. But that's another story. Um, on the thought that the Jews are following the commandments of men, um, I want to know how you can object to this as a Christian. Because in Matthew 23, verses 2 and 3, it says, Jesus told the people, The scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, all therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. Okay, so how can you complain as a follower of Jesus that Jews follow the commands of men when you yourself are commanded by your own Jesus to follow the commands of the Jewish um, leaders? Uh, anyway, I think that's all for this video. I'm running out of time. Um, but yeah, I definitely look forward to your response to this. Uh, one last thought, uh, please go ahead and if you haven't already, add and subscribe the channel Study Judaism. I've got a link right here. Um, very good channel. Please add and sub, add and sub. And uh, looking forward to more videos from that channel and looking forward to more discussion with you and more videos and more discussion for, with DJ. Hi, DJ. Um, I think that's it. Okay, signing off.